Can Sri Lanka bounce back, you think, in the second ODI, or will it once again be all one way traffic? They can bounce back because you remember they were 139 to 1 and they suddenly lost it. It's, uh, so, yes, uh, if the top four or five batsmen fire and uh, get them to a score of 300, then that will be a, a real challenge uh, for the Indians. So, uh, uh, yes, every, every chance of the Sri Lankans are uh, bouncing back uh, because, you know, for a while, when they were, as I said, when they were 139 to 1, India was worried. Right. Now, India are, of course, favourites to win the limited over series against the Lankans. If it is a thumping triumph, do you see the series then being the series that starts a journey for Team India that takes them all the way to World Cup glory in 2019? Yes, it does. Uh, because, you know, this is, this is under a new, uh, new partnership. Uh, this, so, therefore, uh, uh, this, is, this will be the start of the journey that uh, uh, hopefully will uh, take India to winning the World Cup in 2019. Right. Overall, if you look at world cricket, so it's a strange time, isn't it? A time when a once mighty team like the West Indies, they are struggling. Sri Lanka, the 1996 ODI world champions, they are not looking very good. Is it all thanks to these teams not managing to find good enough replacements for the retired stalwarts? Or are there other factors you think that are also contributing to their downward slide? Well, I think uh, when you lose, yeah, to the calibre of Kamala, Jawa, Gana, Kumar, Sandakara, Mutar, Murlidhar and Dilshan, um, you know, in quick succession, it is never easy uh, to replace them. Uh, they've got some quality batsmen, we've seen them. We've seen glimpses of quality batsmanship uh, from uh, other Sri Lankans. But maybe it's lack of confidence that has uh, not allowed them to flower to their full potential. But I think it's uh, probably just a matter of time. It's a quality that uh, uh, is, uh, is a bit worrying uh, for, uh, for me because their bowling just doesn't seem to have any peak. And um, so even if the batsmen score plenty of runs, if the bowlers aren't going to uh, put the pressure on the opposition, Sri Lanka is not going to win too many matches. Now, the Lankans are scheduled to tour India, sir, towards the end of the year. Do you see the Lankan morale being absolutely shattered when they tour India? It certainly will be. In case India wins all the matches now, all the five one-day games, plus uh, the T20 game, uh, when Sri Lanka come to India, uh, their, their morale will be down. The Paul, you know, I think there'll be big changes in the Sri Lankan 11 as well. Sri Lankan uh, squad could undergo a change. And which will mean that uh, you know you will have players in that team who will not have had the trauma of defeat, and there'll be fresh thinking in that team, and that could actually help uh, change uh, and turn things around uh, for Sri Lanka. Right now, the captain Virat Kohli has said that the team will continue to experiment. What kind of team changes do you see Team India making for maybe the second or the third ODIs, if any? Someone like Manish Pandey is in the squad and there's no point perhaps in playing him for just a match or two. Do you see Manish getting an extended run as India continue to experiment for the 2019 World Cup? Definitely, yes. I think he'll definitely get a look in. Uh, but maybe after India wraps up the series or India gets 2-0 uh, up, uh, then he, he might... Uh, uh, find himself playing in the team. Also, I think the new ball bowlers, uh, they might uh, get uh, a bit of a look in. Uh, and that is also crucial, get the new ball bowlers. You want to sort out your new ball attack. Uh, and, and the spinners, uh, there could be a, a change. Could be the other who did so well in uh, in uh, the West Indies, the one they series in the West Indies. Still find a place as well. So, yeah, I think there will be changes uh, once. Um, you can be a win the next game uh, at Candy, goes to zero off. I, I'm pretty set about for the third game. Uh, uh, there will be uh, a few changes. Right. One final question, sir. The Virat Ravi Shastri partnership that, of course, yielded good results in the past when Shastri was team director. Do you see the captain coach relationship now taking India to newer heights in the future? I certainly hope so. I certainly hope uh, that uh, we go on to win uh, the 2019 uh, uh, World Cup uh, because uh, that's going to be the ultimate. They are uh, the number one team in Test cricket uh, and uh, they are now, uh, if they win most of the matches, uh, uh, that are going to be played the one-day matches in India. The, the, the Indian team is more uh, limited over the season uh, this year. So they win most of those matches. They, they can also climb up to the number one position in one-day cricket. So that would be terrific uh, if uh, that happens.